polyatomic ions. A polyatomic ion is a group of atoms that are bonded together, have a net charge, and act like a single unit or ion. They are bound to other ions and are not found free in nature. Here are some common examples. Sulfate, SO4, has a charge of negative 2. Nitrate, has a, NO3, has a charge of negative 1. Carbonate, CO3, has a charge of negative 2. The charge of the total polyatomic ion is shown outside the parentheses. This shows that the sulfate ion has a charge of negative 2, 2 minus. The ratio of charges in the ion are shown in subscripts, but one is not written. It is implied. So there's one sulfur atom for every four oxygen. There's no one subscript that's implied. This shows that a single sulfate polyatomic ion has one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms. Most polyatomic ions contain oxygen atoms. The names of many polyatomic ions end with ite or eight. In ite eight pairs, the ion with fewer oxygen atoms will have the ite ending. For example, sulfite has fewer oxygen atoms than sulfate. Nitrite has fewer oxygen atoms than nitrate. The suffix does not indicate the number of oxygen atoms, just the relative number. You'll be provided this table of polyatomic ions when needed, so be familiar with it, but don't feel you need to memorize it. It's posted on the NJCTL website at this address. Ternary ionic compound formulas. Ternary ionic compounds contain three or more elements and are neutral, just like binary ionic compounds. The goal, as it was with binary compounds, is to find the lowest ratio of cations to anions that will yield a neutral co compound. This ratio is expressed in a formula unit. Here's some examples of formula units in ternary ionic compounds. This is CaCO3. The polyatomic ion here is CO3. Notice it appears without parentheses since there's only one of it. In this case, zinc has is bonded to the ionic compound C2H3O2. Because there are two of these, it's kept in parentheses, and the subscript 2 tells you there are two of these polyatomic ions. Here, silver is bonded to NO3, and here is sodium. Two atoms of sodium are bonded to one polyatomic ion, SO3. Note that parentheses are not used if there is only a single polyatomic ion in the formula but are used if there is more than one. So CaCO3 is not written Ca with parentheses around the CO3, but zinc C2H3O2 must be written with parentheses so you have a place to put this two subscript to indicate there are two of these polyatomic ions. Example one, ternary ionic formulas. Write the formula for lithium phosphate. Step one, identify the cation and its charge. Lithium is in group one, so its ion is Li plus, and its charge is positive one. Step two, identify the anion and its formula. Phosphate is the polyatomic ion PO4 with a charge of three minus, so its charge is minus three. Step three, find the ratio of cations to polyatomic ions. Electric neutrality requires three lithium ions for each phosphate ion, since lithium has a charge of positive one and phosphate has a charge of negative three. You need three lithiums to cancel out the charge of one polyatomic phosphate ion. So the formula is Li3PO4, and note the PO4, the phosphate, is not written within parentheses because there's only one of that one of that ion appearing in the formula. Example two, write the formula for lithium chlorate. Let's follow these steps. As you, after you fill these in, pause, and then we can see the answers on the next page. Step one, identify the cation and its charge. Step two, identify the anion and its formula. Step three, find the ratio of cations to polyatomic anions. Again, the answers are on the next page.
Lithium is in group one, so its ion is Li plus, and its charge is positive one. Chlorate is the polyatomic ion ClO3, and its charge is negative one. Fine. Electric neutrality requires one lithium positive ion for each chlorate negative polyatomic ion. So the formula is LiClO3. Example 3. Write the formula for manganese 3 carbonate. Again, follow the three steps. Identify the cation and its charge. Identify the anion and its formula. Find the ratio of cations to polyatomic ions. And if you pause now to answer these questions, the answers will be on the next page. Write the formula for manganese 3 carbonate. Step 1, identify the cation and its charge. The cation is manganese 3 and has a charge of positive 3. Step 2, identify the anion and its formula. Carbonate is the polyatomic ion, so its charge is negative 2. Find the ratio of cation to polyatomic ion. Electric neutrality requires two manganese ions for each three carbonate ions. So the formula is manganese 2 carbonate 3.